But yeah, that's that's one of the things I want to talk about though. I made that video I posted today about like why people suck at like recoil or whatever. And I think uh I don't think I explained myself the best. I, I was mainly focusing on the fact that like people consciously train their their recoil and like aim trainers where they're like they're in their hand consciously physically feeling the motor movements and i was trying to say that like you shouldn't be physically trying to overthink you know the recoil pattern it's the same thing with aim training you shouldn't like physically get into your own hand you should just try and replicate what you want out of your aim visually like you know if you see a target you don't want to think about the flick you just want to flick and let the flick happen and then you see the mistake and then your brain will correct it you know you still want to i was saying you don't want to be unconscious you still want to be conscious but you don't want to be like consciously in your hand. Like you don't want to just zone the fuck out and start, you know, missing shit. Like you still want to hit the target. And if you miss, your brain will correct it. Same goes for recoil training. You know, a lot of people, when they, they train the recoil, they sit in one of these servers and then be in their own hand, feeling out the every movement. Cause I used to do this, right? Like feel out every movement. Like, all right, after the sixth bullet, then I got to push down to the right, whatever, you know? And what that does is that you're not letting your, like your unconscious mind learn the action like all right so that's like if you're starting off with recoil training because i want to talk about specifics on how to actually improve your recoil and like get like an elite level of recoil skill from like a better way to train it because i think a lot of people train recoil wrong you should approach it the same way as aim training right progressive overload so that means like increasing the difficulty make it constantly stressful and then the ways you can achieve this with recoil training is with smaller targets moving targets or target switching because a lot of people when they go to train their recoil they'll just sit and shoot at a fucking wall and a certain like that's good if you suck dog shit at recoil like you know any practice is good at that point but at a certain level like this just becomes normal and the difficulty has not been increased at all so like now you need to increase the difficulty the ways you can do that there's this map i started i started doing this literally today download this map here it is the wide prank aim trainer get this map right here okay here you come to burst and then i do strafe burst and uh speed burst when you do uh strafe burst you could you know all these you can change the difficulty on so like i said progressive overload you can make the target smaller you can make it where you have to shoot more bullets to kill the target you know do your progressive overload you should be messing up this is something i want to stress for aim training all this stuff this is the same thing that applies it's a motor skill recoil training your recoil training should be stressful you should not be hitting every shot if you're hitting every shot it's too easy like you should constantly be stressed because that's how you improve so make sure you're like you're not you're not it's not too easy for you go to strafe burst do whatever to give difficulty and the the thing that's good about strafe burst is that it's just one target and this helps with your like reaction to the target because when you're in game when a target pops up he's not sitting there for a second and you're staring at him and then you're spraying he pops up and you have to flick to him so like that's what this is good for because you have to flick to this target see i'm already messing up you have to flick to this target and plus it's moving so that makes it like extra difficult to see so this helps with like you're just your re reflexive recoil where you're just like oh shit, you know because this is what it's like in game where someone pops up you gotta flick to him and then I'll go to speed burst. I'll do like expert or something. And this just helps like your your spray transfers because it's another way to like increase the difficulty of your training. You know, you spray here, flick to the other guy. And then just feel the misses. Let your instinctual recoil come out, like how you think you should spray. And then you'll notice you'll miss certain bullets. Just feel the mistake. Like let, let yourself make mistakes, feel the mistake, and then your brain will fix it. Like that's what you should be doing. This is way too easy. I, I'd have to up the, the difficulty on this. If you're getting to like insane mode and expert mode and this is like too easy back up to the end of the wall and the targets will be a lot smaller like this would be way harder with uh smaller targets if you're further back the next thing i saw this in the comments and i absolutely agree a problem i used to have is i used to palm grip my mouse like where i'd rest my palm on it and this would just like not let me use my fingers for fine precision and i would just do everything with wrist and arm and this really caps like your skill ceiling uh when it comes to aim training or recoil because you you don't get to use your fingers which are like extremely precise you're relying all on your wrist and your arm and you're just making it way harder for yourself to improve if you're running like a palm grip i highly suggest switching to like a claw grip where there's space between your mouse and your fingers and getting a smaller and a lightweight mouse that way you can move the mouse pretty freely with your fingers this will help tremendously tremendously with your recoil it helped me like crazy because i used to have a problem holding angles I'm just sitting here holding an angle because I would palm grip the mouse and my palm would be rested on the thing and I couldn't pull down because my palm would be rested on the desk and I couldn't pull down. It would just fuck up my recoil. I'd only have good recoil if I was like actively flicking the targets versus just holding. But now when I hold, you know, and my 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 palm could still be rested on the desk, my wrist could still be rested, but I could still pull down with my fingers. You see what I'm saying? So switching the grip of your mouse is also going to help out tremendously. The last thing I want to talk about was uh, to take breaks 
between training aim training or recoil training uh there's no point of going till, till you're sore i used to have this idea that like oh if i'm sore then it's like i'm burning in the muscle memory like it's it's getting burnt into my arm like yes like that's good that's not good okay it's it's fucking you up it's just it's just making you sore for like future runs and future practice sessions like you know when you switch guns like it's just fucking you up this is counter-strike it's not a fucking workout don't go to your sore on anything just take breaks okay so I, I do when i aim train i take like 10 to 20 second breaks like every two to three minutes i'll just sit there and just like sit like this and just let my arm relax and i'll come back and i'll you know play even better so that's all the stuff i have for recoil training i literally just thought about all this today i'm gonna start running this and you know you guys are gonna see an improvement in my recoil on stream because i've never actually put a lot of time into training specifically recoil but now i know how to like you know progressively overload this shit and play, uh, train it the right way so hopefully this helps you guys and you guys will see the effect of it on me when i play and on stream